Kia ora team. Now, some of you are probably driving these school holidays, all learning to drive. Mm -hmm. I'm learning to drive. Note to you, don't let your mum teach you. And also drive on the left-hand side of the road. I love my mum, but we don't really get on when she teaches me to drive. Yeah, okay. And when I'm driving on the right side of the road, it doesn't really work. It would help if you were on the left, yep. I think. Maybe your relationship with your mum in the car. Did you know that only 35% of countries in the world actually drive on the left? We're in a minority there. But everyone used to ride on the left when it was back in the days of horses because most people are right-handed and you'd hold your sword in your right hand and it was so that you could, you know... Joust. Pretty much. So that you could get those people in violent times. That's why. Or not violent times. You just... High five! You want to hop over there right here? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure anyway, it was a high five. Definitely was. Well, we're about to catch up with a TV star that you guys have probably seen before on The Neighbours. It's the man, Tim Joe. The Neighbours is all about a family of humans who unknowingly move into a community of aliens who pose as humans. Tim Joe plays the quirky teenage alien, Reggie Jackson. my favourite thing about Earth. So are you. You and Joe Biden. Love me some Joe Biden. Hello, grandson. Oh, my. And joining us now from his house in LA, please welcome Tim Joe. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Yeah, really good. Nice to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> now, bro, we are loving season two. It's so epic. How did you score the role? Because it's a pretty quirky, random role. You know, it was one of those that I was just an actor that came across this script that was just... I, when I read it, minus the alien stuff, I thought this was perfectly me. Aww. So when it was... It was really easy. How do you prepare for the alien stuff, as you put it? Well, at first I watched a lot of like Morgan Mindy and Doug yep. Rock from the Sun, but what I realized is that those actors just played very extreme versions of their honest selves. So with Reggie Jackson, I just had to play myself. Yeah. Well, learning from Robin Williams, that's, yeah, that's not a bad choice. Not a bad person to model yourself on when you want to be an actor. Yeah. Um, and Reggie, Reggie Jackson is like a basketballer. What would you name yourself? Oh, a baseballer, sorry, a baseballer. And um, what would you name yourself after if you got to pick your alien name? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I've been thinking maybe someone like. Uh, I always thought, well, you know, I still don't know the answer to that one. Maybe a famous New Zealand uh, footballer. Oh, hey. like a rugby player, like Dan Carter, something like that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what has been your favourite episode to shoot so far, Tim? Uh, anything that I got to really expand on the relationship with Amber, I think, was my favourite. Anytime I got to work with Amber. Nice. Well, you kind of had that storyline um, of, you know, having your first love and all that kind of stuff. Did you kind of have to go back to your high school mindset to recreate that vibe, or...? No, I didn't have to go back far. I, I have a whole lifetime of getting my heart broken, so... Oh. It was, no, so it was so easy to play in love and heartbroken, and uh, it's strange. I didn't know I had all that lovey-dovey inside me, but when I got to play it and experience it through Reggie, it, was, it felt very uh, raw, even though it was just comedy. Oh, every man's got a sensitive side, Tim. It's OK, don't be ashamed. <laughs> now, we know that you're a sci-fi fan and that you love sort of heroes and villains and that kind of stuff. If you got to play a hero or villain, someone really, you know, a really iconic role, what would you pick? Well, you know, they're filming Star Wars right now, so if, I think that's anybody's dream is to be part of that. Yeah. Do you get to yeah. go along and, like, because since you're in L.A., do they hold, like, auditions and stuff for Star Wars? Can you, like, go along to them or...? They might, but they don't call me. <laughs> oh, well, we'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll talk to our people. We'll yeah. see what we can. We don't have any people, but if we did, we'd well, we'd If we did, hookups. we would so get you in Star Wars, Tim. We'll cross our fingers. <laughs> Maybe totally. that's what we could do for you. Um, but you are doing music as well. You're a musician too in your band, um, Animals of Kim. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, it's a band that I started with a buddy of mine that I did a film with, and... One thing led to the next, and it's, if anything, it's just been a fun way to spend my uh, free time. And so we play shows around, and uh, it's a good way to, to release. Nice. What kind of music is it? I'd say it's a mixture between 
folk, pop, and rock. Okay, yeah, cool Sounds combo. pretty edgy, sounds pretty cool. Did you enjoy filming the musical episode of The Neighbours then? Well, see, in my band, I play guitar and rhythm guitar at that. So okay. when they said, <laughs> you're, you're in a band, you, you, you can sing for us. <laughs> that was uh, nothing more terrifying than being in a booth, a sound booth with Alan Menken on the other side, <laughs> uh, listening to my pure voice coming from the microphone into his headphones. Uh. I have a similar thing whenever Massad sings and I try to join in. He's really good and I'm, oh. I'm tone deaf, so <laughs> I understand. We want to play a wee game with you, Tim. So, you know, your okay. show's called The Neighbours. Who would you rather be neighbours with, Kim and Kanye or Beyonce and Jay-Z? Uh, you know, Kim and Kanye, because I think it would be more interesting to stand by the window every, every day. Yes. Totally. What about, what about Jennifer Lawrence or Shailene Woodley? Um... I think Shailene Woodley would be very clean. So yes. she'd be nice. Yep, <laughs> she does seem clean. Jennifer Lawrence might be a bit loud. Yeah, a little loud. If you had to be neighbours with like a band, a really loud band, would you rather they played country music or hip hop? Yeah. Hip hop. Okay, you're okay. into the hip hop. Well, one last one. What about, would you rather have a neighbour with 10 dogs or 20 cats? <laughs> <laughs> 10 dogs, let me show you something. Andrew. Andrew! <laughs> Andrew, Think he's gone to get his dog? Oh. Unless... Oh, Andrew. I love oh, the dog! Hi, Andrew! Hi, Andrew! <laughs> what a cute! So cute, that dog! Oh. Is it a toy poodle? Yeah, it's a toy poodle. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. So cute. I would say uh, ten dogs. Ten dogs, yeah, I would agree with you. Okay, bro, but um, we, it's a shame you can't send across your dog for the Wall of Fame, so I just about <laughs> to ask you, that's such a cute dog, but what, what, have you got something for us for the Wall of Fame? Yeah, I do. Um, my favourite episode, or one of my favourite episodes, was the second to last episode of season two. And so for you guys, I've got a script of that episode. Whoa. Um, wow. So I'll sign it. Uh, you guys to the 430 show and then send it over to you. Thank you so much. That's really top secret stuff, so we really appreciate it. What's on for the rest of the year for you, Tim? Uh just finding projects to, to move on to, I suppose. Yeah. And cool. make some more music. Well, playing with Anne. If you ever want to come to New Zealand, come hang out with us. You're very totally. welcome. Bring your dog. Thanks so you much, Tim. And we'll catch you later. And see you, Andrew. See you, Tim. <laughs> see you. Bye. Catch bye. you later.